Okay, right now we are here inside the Excellent Power Factory. What I will do is basically start the creation from scratch of the Brazilian 7 Boost Bar equivalent model. First step, we go to File, New Project, and then we decide to call this project as Brazilian, Brazilian 7 Boost equivalent model, okay? Then we press here, okay? And Power Factory will ask you about the data for the grid. In this case, the network is 60 Hertz. We are assuming this grid is for uh, 60 Hertz as the Brazilian system. And I will include my name as Francisco Gonzalez Longat here as the project owner. Okay. Okay, here we are. Right now, we create an empty, an empty uh, project, and the next step is we need to start to put data inside this, inside this uh, project, okay? What I will do now is I will install boost bars, but, and I will use this one on the top left-hand side, and I will put here one boost bar, okay? You must realize that this boost bar is a element that is called terminal, and this is the first boost bar, okay? What I will do now is I will rotate this in order to follow the same structure as the figure uh, 5.21 inside the documentation, okay? Right now, I will say is in the context menu, right button, rotate, rotate clockwise, okay? And right now we have here, we have here at uh, the first boost bar. What I do, what I will do next is I need seven of these boost bars, okay? What I will do is copy this one and then you can use Control V for a uh, paste, okay? Control V and we have the boost bar number two here. Boost bar number three, boost bar number um, four, five. Okay, right now we have here the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boost bars. Okay, what I will do now is I will start the interconnection. I will start the interconnection of those lines using the transmission lines, okay? What I will do is here going to the drawing tool and I will select from the drawing tool the transmission line. And I will say, okay, we need a transmission line from this bus bar, that is bus bar number two to three one from bus bar number three to one and also we need a transmission line from bus bar number two to number five and then we have one from bus bar number one to number five then we have a bus bar be, uh, a transmission line between bus bar number six and seven then we have one more between four and seven, okay? And right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six lines, the four transmission lines that we need, okay? Escape. And right now what I will do is improve a bit the, um, okay, right now is looking much better, more similar to the original single line diagram, okay? What I try to do is increasing the um, the radiability and the, uh, the the cosmetic aspect of this system. Okay. Okay. Right now we have here the seven bus bar and the six transmission lines. Next step, we can start with uh, including the transformer. There is a two winding transformer, two winding transformer between the boost bar number six and number five. Okay. What we can do is go into the drawing tool, select the two winding transformer, and then come here, one click, one more click, one more click, 
and finally reaching the boost bar number five if I put a and now we have installed the transformer okay right now what I will do is install the loads and there is an icon here inside the drawing tool for the loads and we have a load here we have one more load here one more here boost bar number one boost bar number seven sorry number three and finally one more low here in boost bar number two and i almost forgot this one at boost bar number five if i put a. we have all the loads connected and the next step the next step is let's go for the capacitors okay inside this power inside this power system there are some um there are some um, uh, reactive capacitance providing voltage support and they are located in very specific places what we will do right now is install them okay because they are very very important what we will do is going here looking for the shunt capacitor and then we need one here a boost bar number four we need one here a boost bar number six one more a boost bar seven one boost bar one one more a boost bar uh, five if i put a one more here boost bar number two one boost bar one more here at the boost bar at uh, three and we have one two three four five six seven we have seven capacitors reactive capacitance over there doing the job of um of basically creating a reactive power for voltage control okay right now we have here a better view about the system and the next step the next step is finally installing the synchronous generators and in the drawing tools we have here an icon at the right at the left hand side for generators okay there is a generator here a boost bar number seven one in boost bar number four one more here at boost bar number one one at boost bar number two and finally one more a boost bar number three and we must have one two three four five different generators one two three four five generators okay let me improve here the presentation of the system and right now the system is looking much better okay right now the system is looking much better but it could be much better a lot let me move this and let me do the following okay right now we are improving the the, the the looking of our system okay right now it's looking much better let me do the same here on the left hand side we have a much better representation it's 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 um this is basically not just for appearance it's also for making your system more professional okay um it's good idea that you start to think as professional and present your models in a more a uh, serious way okay and right now we have the system ready for start to put data here okay what i will do is move a bit here and right now we can't right now we can see okay let me start to do the following right now we have the system and the first step that we need to do here is start to include names okay let me see the following this is boost bar number one this one is boost bar number two 
This is bus bar number three. This is bus bar number five. This is bus bar number six. This one here is equivalent, that is seven. And finally, this one is number four, okay? What is the idea that I can put over there? The, uh, what is the idea of including those names? Because later I will go extremely fast to include the data. And what I will do is the following. Right now I will use here the network model data. And inside the network model data, I can see all the boost bars, in this case, the terminals, okay? And as you must remember, the bus bar one is 500 kV, and the only in seven five, uh, 765 is number six, and number seven, and also number uh, four. Number four. Okay. Right now we set up all the data however let me include the names it's good idea including the names and this one is and number three the boost bar number three is segredo and boost bar number four is extremely important because it's e type pool And then we have here boost bar number five, Evipora. And then we have boost bar number six, that is Evipora, but this one is at seven six five. If I put a uh, if I put a uh, five hundred is number five. And 765 is at uh, number 7. And bus bar number 7 represents the equivalent model of the, um, of the Brazilian system. Right now we have all the names. Let me do the following. Select all the names. Now let's say adapt width. And I will say right now rotate 90 degrees. Okay. And right now we have all the names, beautiful. But we need to do more, okay? What we need to do now, what we need to do now is let's include the names of the every single generator and load uh, in order to create in a very easy way the data, okay? This one is generator one. Now this is generator four, generator four, generator seven, generator one, generator three, Generator 2, and then QC2, LUA2, LUA3, QC3, LUA1, QC1, LUA2. Five, then QC four, and then Q six six, then lot six, then lot seven. QC7, 
QC4.4. Okay. And right now we have all the data. Let's do the following. What I will do now is still improving the presentation of my system. Okay. Also the readability of this system. And now line four six. And this one is line uh, six seven. Then line one five. Then line two five. Then line two three. Then line one three. And right now we have all the lines, and this is the transformer, the TRF-56. Uh, okay, good. Right now we have a better look of the system. Right now we have a better uh, system. And at this moment we have a better representation and the next step, the next step must be start to include some data in the components, okay? Um, to do so, what we need to do is um, start with the most basic components. The most basic component, as you can see, we have loads, okay? And the loads, if you look over here, we have all the loads. And if you go to, we have load one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are in order because I spent time fixing the names. And right now we have here all the loads, active and reactive power. All of them are in zero. What is the next step? The next step is basically use the data that it was given at the uh, at the project okay for instance for the load one is 2450 and the reactive power is minus 467 then we have here to 692.3 and minus 184.0 okay however i don't know if you realize but this is a time consuming activity if you start to do it by hand that is a time consuming activity there is a very fast alternative okay let me show you 